Good morning, everybody. I'm Michael from the Sew and Place and Sew and Sweep. And today is our second installment of Tech Tuesday, where me, your technician, discusses sewing machine uh, maintenance and care, as well as parts and so on. So with that being said, we're going to begin this talking about uh, keeping your machines a little bit cleaner and the types of tools and things that you'll need to do that. Um, one of the most controversial things that we hear about is uh, canned air. Canned air is uh, okay for older machines because the older machines can be opened up, allowing that air to pass right through. Uh, or they're sealed in specific areas that uh, don't allow that air to get anywhere. A great example of this is, again, the trusty old featherweight sewing machine. As you can see, really nowhere for that dirt to go other than out. So in the shop here, uh, I'm able to blow out machines as that is allowed to pass directly through. Not only do we do that though, we also use a vacuum to vacuum out the machines as well. And that's probably where you should be at home. You should be vacuuming your machine if anything. And to make that job even easier, we have a uh, precision vacuum kit. And this fits your standard home vacuums uh, so you can hook that up and get little tiny brushes, crevice tools, and so on to get inside your machine and clean it out properly. Other tools that you probably have considered would include brushes, obviously, to get in here and brush, tweezers to grab hold of any big chunks of thread or debris that you find in the machines uh, that you're really not able to reach otherwise. And, you know, get a nice pair of tweezers, something that's got a good grip on the end. Uh, you won't regret it and they'll last you forever. And the final thing you probably want to get is a nice set of dental picks. Uh, not really so much to scrape all over the place, uh, except for the feed dog. And the feed dog is pulling your fabric all the time through the machine. And with each stitch, dirt's dropping down in that machine and compressing that dirt in between the feed dogs. And sometimes the only way to get that out is to literally take a dental pick and slightly scrape uh, those chunks of dirt out of the machine. How often you should uh, clean your machine uh, is a varied answer. Each person is different. It depends on the how often you're sewing uh, and what kind of uh, fabrics you're sewing on. If you're sewing on quilt fabrics with uh, batting and so on, that's going to give off a lot more lint than somebody that is uh, sewing, for example, uh, polyesters, man-made fibers. Um, best uh, trick is to actually just start paying attention, uh, noticing things about your sewing machine. When you take it apart, how does it look? Does it look like it has dirt in? And if it looks very packed, you should clean it more often, obviously. If it looks like not a whole lot, then don't uh, worry about it. You don't wanna take it apart more frequently than you have to um, so that you don't cause extra damage to the machine. Um, with that being said, uh, the most important thing probably though is to take it to a qualified technician uh, on a regular basis. Uh, if you set up a maintenance plan or simply, you know, bring it in for an annual service. A lot of these machines today are like precision top of line automobiles. They're the Mercedes Benz, if you will, of machines. Uh, they are uh, designed to run well and strong. But with that, we use them a little more frequently than you think you do. The standard embroidery might have 100,000 stitches. Uh, that would be about 100 dresses worth of sewing. So as you can see, that's quite a difference in the old sewing machines and the thought processes there. So taking care of their machine is gonna make sure they last a lot longer. If you have uh, dirt accumulating in the machinery, it's going to block the parts from moving freely and can also change the position of those parts inside, which will cause eventually uh, great damage. And that we do not want. So once again, I'm Michael from the sew -in Place and from sew -in Sweep. And uh, if you have any questions, please just write them in the comment box below and we'll help you out as best we can. Until next week, take care.